Now what I want to do is instead of shooting lasers, I want to start shooting fireballs. Why? Because fireballs can go very far in the sense that instead of just shooting around, it can also keep going and also it's nice to have different colors of fireballs so that different enemies, so different players can shoot different colors of fireballs and it's easy to see who's shooting. All right, having said so, I'm going to select the um, prefab, which is the Iron Man prefab, and I'm going to just extend and start removing some stuff that I don't need. Now, do I need the spotlight? No, I don't. So I'm just going to right click and delete. And I don't need the laser start and laser end and laser beam. So I'm going to select all of them and just right click and delete. Now, if in your game you want to shoot lasers, go ahead and use lasers. But for the sake of learning something different, because it applies to more games, we're going to use fireballs because they're very similar to shooting any, any type of projectiles, like bullets or bombs and things like that. All right. Now, once you do that, if you click on the Iron Man prefab, you will see that some of them are going to be referencing um, some stuff like the spotlight that says missing. So I'm going to click on the player shoot and remove the spotlight. Right here, it says laser beam. So I'm going to remove all the laser beam stuff. All right. I'm going to also remove the, uh, the laser beam here. No need anymore. And I'm going to remove the uh, spotlight. So I'm going to do Command F and look for spotlight. All right, I see it here, spotlight, spotlight here, spotlight here. We don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. All right, keep going. We don't need the spotlight anymore. So actually, all this, all this logic for the shoot, we don't need it anymore because it's totally different and we don't have that anymore. But I'm just going to let some of it and just comment this out. Why? Because we're still going to be doing the shooting, but we're going to shoot fireballs. All right. Now I'm going to save this, comment S, and go back to Unity and see if there's any kind of errors. Yes, there is. Laser beam origin. So I'm going to double click and remove the laser beam origin. Save. Go back. And uh, that's it for now. Okay, so we're go good to go. Now, here is the moment you guys were waiting for. We're adding some cool stuff. Now, what I want you to do is locate the multiplayer assets that we added earlier. And you see there's the new assets. Go inside of it and locate all the new assets. Now, here, this is just a health bar. It's white, okay? So it's just a white health bar. And here you have the Iron Man palettes. You don't see much about this, but this controls the color of the Iron Man. So we're going to add this later. Why? Because we want the multiplayer characters to have different colors. We don't want all the characters to be red, right? We want maybe one that's red, one that's white, one that's blue, and so on, so that we can recognize the different characters. And then you have a Pyro Particles folder that has prefabs for two fireballs, one that's blue and one that's red. Okay, so this is inspired from the pyro particles from the asset store, but we have uh, I've modified them so that we have them in two different colors, blue and red. All right, so what we're going to do is add this to our game. I'm going to select all of the assets and inside of Unity, go to the project, click on assets and I'm going to drop it here. I'm going back to the finder and I'm going to drag and drop this. So let me just get rid of that so it's easier to see. I'm going to zoom in so that it's easier for you guys to see. And I drag and drop this inside of the assets right here. I let go. And now it's copying all the stuff. Shouldn't take too long. All right. Here it is. Now, if you look, you should be able to see the pyro particles, prefabs. And here, go to the prefab folder and you'll see the fireballs. All right. Fireball 1, fireball 2. All right. Excellent. Now, we want to attach this to our character to be able to shoot this, right? So let's go ahead and do this in the next lecture.